What is going on friends and welcome back to the Minecraft Hub channel. Today we are checking out the brand new snapshot 22W14A. This is our newest look at the wild update and there are a lot of really cool features in this one. You may notice I'm holding a pretty interesting shard, it's called an echo shard, and I've also got a blue looking compass. Both are very new and very weird, but we'll get to those later in the video. First up today, we are going to start off with the changes that we knew were going to be coming in this update. First up, we have clay renewability. So this is super awesome. You can basically turn dirt into mud by splashing it with a water bottle, and then you can turn that mud right into clay by putting it on top of dripstone. Now this does take a while. I turned up the tick speed a little bit just so we could get a look at how it works. Basically, the mud just drains out through the dripstone and then you're left with clay. So this now gives us a way to get clay as much as we want, and all you need is a little bit of water and some dirt. This basically makes clay much more accessible and bricks much easier to use as well, so hopefully we start seeing some more builds with bricks in the future as it's now a lot easier to get those blocks. And just to demonstrate how you can turn that dirt straight into clay, and once it's clay by the way, it does not go back to mud, you can't put water on it to turn it back, it is officially clay. But speaking of mud, we now have a brand new biome, and this is the mangrove swamp biome. So right here, we're kind of just on a beach leading into it, but this place is so cool looking. You have all of these mang mangrove trees around, which I think look awesome. I really love the roots and the vines. The propagules look amazing as well, and this is just a very cool biome. I love the mud and the trees in here. I do think that this biome, though, is missing something. I'm not really sure what it is. Honestly, maybe once we get some frogs, things like that in these biomes, then maybe it's going to be a bit better. But I do think at its current point, it is missing something that just makes it a little dull once you're down inside the biome. I don't even know what you could add in here that would bring things more to life. But I think maybe once you add in the frogs and the fireflies, maybe you're going to get that effect that I think I really want when I'm inside of this mangrove forest. This biome looks really cool from above as well. This is definitely one of the denser forests that we have in the game. Of course, one of the other dense forests would probably be like the dark oak forest, but I think because of the roots and how these trees are actually shaped, this actually becomes much more dense and harder to get through, which I think is perfect for this type of biome. But we've talked enough about the mud, clay, and the new biome. Now let's go ahead and take a peek down at the ancient cities at some of the new features we have down there. Probably not a huge change for most people, but now the warden will get mad and kill all living mobs. So I spawned a few inside of here, I activated the warden, and now the warden basically is just going to get angry at anything making sound around it. So that includes the polar bear, the sheep, and the pig, which it'll just slaughter every time it hears a noise from them. And if you notice, the XP is going into the skulk blocks and making it spread, so it really makes you wonder what exactly you could do with the warden, and could you make an XP farm out of the warden and some mobs. Next up, in these ancient cities, we have some brand new, very exclusive loot. So you're only going to be able to find this in the ancient cities, but that is the Echo Shard. And that makes a very unique item, which you might already notice on my hotbar, but we'll talk more of it about it in a second. So basically, you're going to need 8 of these Echo Shards and also a compass to craft the brand new compass that is coming to the game, which is the Recovery Compass. So I'm just showing off the uh, Echo Shards. They're going to be in these chests. You're going to have to go through multiple of these chests to get enough to make one of these compass. So it's definitely going to be a bit dangerous as you're trying to avoid the Warden and hit all the chests in the Ancient City to get enough of these shards. Once you have all the items though, you can go ahead and throw them in a crafting table and craft the recovery compass. And this is a very, very cool item because it does something that we've never had in the game before. So the recovery compass is something you're probably going to want to leave at your base or in your ender chest. You're not going to want to carry it with you at all times because what it does is it leads you back to the place where you last died. The best way I could think of doing this was to be uh, to activate the warden. But once the warden kills me, the compass will finally point to a singular spot and I can go back to that spot and it'll be exactly where my items are. 
The recovery compass, uh, until you die, will not show any specific location. It'll just kind of spin in a circle uh, and you won't really know where to go. But if we hop back into creative mode and grab this, normally this would be just at your base. You can now see it is pointing in one straight line and we can go ahead and run right back to our stuff, which happens to be very far away in this case. But once you follow the compass all the way back to where it leads you, you're going to find your stuff exactly where the compass is pointing. So it's pointing right over here. I can kind of just spin around it and it's still going to point at this exact location where I died. This is incredibly useful for a lot of people. It's very hard to find where you died sometimes. Sometimes you're mining or in the ocean and you don't know exactly where you were. But if you have this recovery compass, it's going to be very easy to find where you last died. Of course, this is going to be useless in hardcore as you're not going to ever need to find your death location. The world just deletes afterwards, but if you're in a normal survival world, you're going to be able to find exactly where your stuff was. Now, something that was in last week's snapshot and maybe the weeks prior, I don't exactly remember when this came out, but I never showed it off, is the inside of this uh, room right here. The inside of this is filled with redstone contraptions and shows that redstone was in the game long before the player came here. It is in these ancient cities and shows that ancient technology does exist in Minecraft. And also shows that the skulk blocks were a part of that as well, as this skulk block right here activates the doors to get into this room. So this does open up a lot of questions. I did put out a theory video before that talked about how the possible portal that is above this room leads to an alternate dimension where villagers have more redstone capabilities and have built more sophisticated structures. Now this would be a very cool uh, build and it does make a little bit more sense now that we have these redstone features underneath this. Of course this is still a long shot theory but I do think it would be very cool if we saw some more background uh, to redstone and some of the things that we have in the overworld that we really have no lore of. I do really still believe that the structure above this is a portal and now that all this redstone technology is beneath it showcasing different ideas of what you can do with redstone it really makes me wonder what exactly is this portal going to lead to. Of course, this is not a theory video, this is a snapshot video, but we've bu just about covered everything today. So we have the new mangrove swamp biomes, we have some clay renewability, we have the echo shards and the recovery compass, all of which I think are really cool features. The recovery compass is obviously brand new, we hadn't even heard about it at all before, but I think it is a very cool and unique item to the game. That is all that I have for you guys today though. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to drop a like on it. And if you're new to our channel, hit that subscribe button as well. We of course cover all the snapshots and the updates coming to Minecraft, but we also cover mega bases and so much more. So go ahead and check out the rest of our content. You definitely enjoy some of our other stuff. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time.